Hello, how are you guys doing? Today, I want to talk at length about horizontal scrolling frames and just kind of discuss the purposes or applications of a horizontally scrolling frame because the uh, typical orientation is vertical or along the Y axis. Is there any actual use to making it horizontal? Now, um, I made a short video, but um, to make one, it's very simple. We're gonna add a GUI, we're gonna go for a scrolling frame. As you can see, let me bring up my UI uh, tools right here. Let's go anchor, enlarge our frame. As you can see, right now it is vertical. Uh, I suppose we can add just a little uh, frame here. Okay, right here. <laughs> Make this red so we can see, like so. Um, to make this horizontal, we can go for direction, X in canvas size. We have, we have, uh, you can see X right here. It is at zero. We got to change this. So I'm gonna go for like three. And now as you can see, we have this horizontal scrolling. Now, what can we actually use this for? Um, I think a, uh, I think a useful instance would be some kind of like a game mode selection or like, uh, if you're making like a, an RPG game and you have like a map selection. So for example, if we can create a nice little example, let's make a container frame here. Let's make this larger. Stick our scrolling frame in here. Color, and we go for a corner. Like so. Zero point, no, point zero five. Okay. Scrolling frame, background off. Okay, and right here for horizontal scroll bar uh, inset, I'm gonna have this on always. Okay, so this frame, I'm going to change our color. Actually, let's make it white. Uh, take the aspect ratio thing off. Okay, let me just see X, I think like 0.1. Go for like a corner, like so. Point, eh, point one. And let's actually make this slightly larger. Okay, we can add a gradient, for example. Go for something like this. As you can see, rotation, boom. Let's change our scroll bar killer. There we go. And we have a list layout. Let's, let's make sure it is horizontal. And now you can see we have a practical application for this thing. And with this kind of thing, um, a horizontal scrolling frame, this kind of stuff can get complicated if you nest this inside a standard vertically scrolling frame and um you know in regards to navigation and ui ux design we have to ultimately consider we have to ultimately consider um the player first and foremost how we can overall reduce the amount of friction that the player might encounter and this will make their experience much more seamless and overall it will make the game perform much better um, have a higher retention and all these positive metrics that we seek and so uh yeah i want to know what you guys think if you are a programmer uh, game designer ui designer regardless how you approach uh, making your games and if you use horizontal scrolling frames or not and also if you guys want to see a cool low effect uh, you can I think add a canvas group for example 
OK and check this out. Let's go for something like this right here and let's go for a gradient. OK and we're going to go for a killer. Let's go for this killer. Right. And uh, basically, let's go for transparency. Boom. Make this fully transparent. Now you can see we have a fading effect. I think it's uh, pretty cool. What do you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, take care.